hello friends in this lecture we shall discuss interest rate gap or mismatch risk so what is gap or mismatch and how does it lead to interest rate risk friends interest rate risk it can happen as part of market risk in different forms so this can be basis risk this can be yield curve risk this can be embedded option risk or this can be in the form of gap risk or mismatch or repricing risk friends we must appreciate that assets and liabilities of the banks will have different maturities and gap or mismatch indicates the gap between the repricing assets and liabilities which are also called rate sensitive assets and liabilities whenever we want to calculate the gap how do we calculate to calculate the gap in rate sensitive assets or rate sensitive liabilities the assets and liabilities will be placed in different time buckets broadly there are 10 time buckets so far indian banks are concerned what is meant by rate sensitive assets and rate sensitive liabilities so rate sensitive assets and rate sensitive liabilities means where repricing takes place at the end of a particular period so repricing takes place in case of assets also it takes place in case of liabilities also and it takes place at the end of a particular period for example when we take the case of one year time buckets the repricing or rate sensitive assets or liabilities they will include the following any asset or liability which matures within one year any full or partial principal payment will be repriced within one year and in case of floating rate of interest the benchmark will change within one year so if any of these takes place within one year we call it rate sensitivity within one year time bucket and similarly there are various time buckets this repricing on the basis of different time buckets impacts the net interest income and net interest margin if there is gap in the amount of maturing assets and maturing liabilities so amount of assets will be different which is maturing within a particular period amount of liabilities is different which is maturing within one year and there is gap between the two now to understand it better let us assume the shape of the balance sheet of a bank as under so we have taken this balance sheet of a bank so here we have assets here we have rate of interest here we have liabilities here we have rate of interest so these are rate sensitive assets liabilities these are fixed rate and these are non earning assets or liabilities so rate sensitive assets have been assumed as 500 fixed rate assets have been taken as 350 non earning assets have been taken at 150 so total assets are 1000 similarly rate sensitive liabilities have been taken at 600 fixed rate liabilities have been taken at 220 non earning liabilities have been taken at 
100 and equity has been taken at 80 so total here is also 1000 and these are the rate of interest on rate sensitive it is 8 percent on rate sensitive liabilities it is 4 percent now gap here is 100 so rate sensitive assets are 500 rate sensitive liabilities are 600 so it is a gap of 100 because of this gap there will be interest rate risk so gap is 500 minus 600 that is negative gap of 100 and what is net interest income so net interest income is 41.30 so 500 multiplied into 8 percent 350 multiplied by 11 percent sum total of these two minus sum total of the interest payment on liabilities so this is interest payment on liabilities and this is interest earning on assets so earning 78.50 payment of interest is 37.20 so net interest income is 41.30 in this case net interest margin that is 41.30 divided by 850 so we have 4.86 percent that is net interest margin now there is change in the interest rates let us say there is 1% increase in rate of interest so this change will take place in case of rate sensitive assets and rate sensitive liabilities only not in the fixed rate liabilities or assets so rate of interest here changed from 8% to 9% and here it changed from 4% to 5% so 1% parallel increase but because of this gap the net interest income and net interest margin both will undergo change let us see how this will do so net interest income the income is 83.50 interest payment is 43.20 so net interest income will be 40.30 earlier this was 41.30 and a net interest margin which was 4.866 percent earlier now has come down to 4.74 percent so this is the change as a result of 1 percent increase in rate of interest it means if rate sensitive liabilities are more and there is increase in rate of interest the net interest income and net interest margin will come down on the other hand if there is 1% decrease so 1% or any decrease and if rate sensitive liabilities are more in that case the net interest income will increase and net interest margin will also increase this means the change in interest rates has impact if there is a gap between interest rate assets and interest rate liabilities so this is because of gap risk or repricing risk or mismatch risk Thank you friends.